Hey everyone, I'm Laurentio and in this video I'm going to talk about all Kung Fu Panda games on the Wii. Kung Fu Panda is pretty good. You get to play as multiple characters, you get levels that are more focused on platforming, levels that are more focused on fighting, you get puzzles, and the game is pretty good overall. It is unresponsive when you want to do some special moves, but at least the basic moves are okay, they are responsive. Also, I like the variety in level designs. I like the graphics, so overall, it's a pretty good game. Kung Fu Panda Legendary Warriors isn't that legendary. It's a stereotypical beat-em-up. All you do in the game is brawl. You play with multiple characters, which is nice, but even if visually the characters move different, they all feel the same. There are some extra minigame sections, that spice things up when you play with each character, but most of the game is a typical brawler. It's still fun, especially if you're a fan, but in my opinion the game doesn't exceed decent. I mean, it's a decent game, but not more than that. Kung Fu Panda 2 is a game made for the U draw board. If you don't have the thing, you won't be playing the game. But don't worry, the game is lame, controls are imprecise, the minigames are boring, the way you move in the game and use the huge raw board doesn't feel good, and just like IGN and Nintendo Power say, the game would have been okay if you could play it without the board. I mean, without the board integration and playing the game with, Wii, with normal Wiimotes, the game would have been okay. The huge raw board ruins a decent game. 